charge i didn't charge it so anyway i had to use my uh, headphones but it's a good example of you know the uh, annoyance so right here i'm bringing my knees in now that's not the best position i'm just showing you that that's not the best position to position to be in whenever you're doing that exercise like like you would on the the resistor ball or something you would actually on this you would put your hands on each side right there um and then you would just bring your knees in okay slightly trying to kind of come back like towards it uh, with your hands, but uh, to kind of keep stable. But uh, very good um, exercise here. Uh, I challenge you. And uh, yeah, that was in my way, so I had to, I had to get it out of the way. But um, now I had just done a decline uh, bench press here, and now I'm transitioning to a quick set of abs. Now I'm just demonstrating the ab roller here. Well the way that you can use it, uh, kind of like you, know, you would the ab roller. Um, you can come all the way down, you can see that it's more it's shoulder width apart, um, so it kind of works on more your lats too. And here you can transition from that to little push-ups. I mean, those are a few just to demonstrate. Um, I didn't want to do too many because I have another set to do, or three more sets. And this is interesting, this is a reverse grip. Um, kind of roll okay extending out lots and lots of tension in my lats here I'm using a lot of lats a lot of triceps uh, keep the slight bend in my elbows and then I'm transitioning to a reverse grip bench press you can also get a little bit closer and it'll turn into a tricep uh, uh, close grip bench as well so I just completed another set of decline bench press on the Smith machine. Now I'm doing just the rolling again, um, the Atlas rolling. <clears throat> and you see how my triceps are engaged. You can see my lats there. You can see how my lats are also engaged as well. Um, you wanna use that blue mat right there uh, for knee comfort. Or you know, you can also use you know your own, you can buy it on Amazon like a half roller. Um, or a foam, but it's just uh, cut in half. You can get the the 12 inch, and they're pretty cheap. They're like six bucks or five bucks or something, and they're actually much nicer than that blue um, foam or you know that blue material there. Um, here's the planking. Uh, love planking. Now this is the most comfortable on the uh, high density foam. It's just much better than on the ground because it gives a little bit of padding, so it's just more. I mean, I don't know. You just it's just more comfortable, so you can do it for I think a little bit longer without having that pain sensation. I think that it it just feels nicer, just more you know natural. Um, so yeah, then get up. Then you can stretch out a little bit right before you go into the set if you want to. Then you do this type of planking. Um, this is actually a very difficult type. It's kind of just. Now just to push-ups, then you can go into your push-ups. Um, you know, go all the way down. To, what's nice about this is you can go all the way down to the pad. Kind of keeps you from you know, overextending um, or hyperextending, you know, the shoulders. And so it kind of keeps a healthy, um, you know, it keeps your joints healthy uh, while you're, you know, using it. And um, but you know, just. Positioning is the biggest thing, so that's why I didn't cut the video. I just want people to see how I position myself, how I get on the roller, how I get comfortable, how I get, uh, you know, just ready to go for the next set. I'm showing you there. You can put it on the ground, you put the phone on the ground, or you can put it, you know, in your pocket or, you know, somewhere where it's just not going to fall out once you transition to abs or any kind of rolling because it is just going to flop everywhere if you put it in your pocket. So I guess, um, you know, in your shorts, if you have a really tight band, you know, tighten it a little bit further and just, you know, slip it on the side right there. Uh, if you don't have a phone, uh, like a, you know, smartphone holder, uh, and that's what I do because I don't have a smartphone holder, then typically I use a uh, Bluetooth a cordless headset. But again, like, you know, I just didn't charge it. So, But yeah, so here I'm working lower abs. There you go. I'm slowing up. I'm making sure that I'm not hitting the ground much harder. You're concentrating, okay? There you go. I'm trying to just keep elevated. And I'll do a slight touch on the ground. 
just to kind of keep myself, my abs engaged. And your abs are always going to be engaged on this. Um, here is kind of working, is definitely working the abs and the obliques. Um, you can put a, you can actually put a band in between your uh, ankles and it would be much harder to do. Um, it'll, you know, definitely work your hips. Um, <clears throat> here I'm going to uh, demonstrate a superset that I do. And uh, it's a superset uh, incline, dumbbell incline. That is 85 pounds each, okay? I go about parallel and I come back up. Um, there you go. And I don't have a spot on this one because, I mean, I'm gonna jump up to 95 pounds. So that's, you know, relatively easy for me on my first set. Uh, not too easy, just, just enough. Because I'm gonna do three more sets. Um, here I'm doing a reverse grip push-up because I had done already done push-ups So I'm doing a reverse grip here coming down. There we go and You see on my back is flat and The uh, biceps are engaged as well. So you can act actually see that the biceps are engaged um, Very difficult uh, movements to do So here is just a transition to, I just wanted to show you the decline push-up. This is regular grip, forward grip, not reverse. I just did reverse, now I'm doing that. See where my phone is placed. Um, and now we're gonna go to abs. So breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. And the breathing is very important for this because when you really improve your breathing, whenever you become very accustomed to breathing correctly, then you know, you're going to get the better uh, ab workouts and uh, you'll be able to do more. Now this is interesting. You can actually hook into um, you know, a lot of these machines and since that's a full steel bar, um, yeah, I mean you can pretty much do, I mean, you can do any transition, uh, anything in your imagination. I'm lining up that lower one, you know, for my knees uh, because it's actually more comfortable to kneel down on these versus the floor or that blue pad you saw earlier. So I'm putting it behind my neck. Yeah, I slipped there. It's pretty funny. But, uh, but yeah, just getting comfortable with it. So then, yeah, you just go down. Now you're getting a good ab workout. All right, coming down, come up. There you go. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Breathe through your mouth and your nose. Breathe out through your mouth and your nose. I mean, that's very good, or just your nose. Typically, I breathe in through my mouth and nose and breathe out through my nose. There, you can trans, like, I'm just giving you an example here. Uh, that is a tricep extension over the head. And so, yeah, I mean, you there's, there's many things you can do. Actually, you can do a reverse grip, um, you know, tricep extension, which actually feels really good for that. Uh, this right here is more lats. Up, down, there you go. Increase the weight if you would like. So, I mean, uh, oh yeah. I mean, those are, lats are my favorite. Um, and anyway, pull-ups are my favorite, so that's why I do lats a lot. And um, this right here is another one for the same thing, lats. And you just go down, up, down. You may feel a little bit in your shoulders, of course. Um, keep a slight bend in your elbows. But you're going to want to, um, you know, keep... Whew, that was a tough workout. Well... Thanks for joining me for part two of the two-part video. And hopefully you got some good tips, ideas, and everything for your next uh, exercise with abs and chest. Here is the Atlas Roller. Also, when you search it out, you can look for the Atlas Body Conditioner. And anyway, you, you saw how I used it for uh, abs. Also, I did just different techniques with um, you know, normal mainstream techniques of the um, planking and also leg raises. And I just did, um, you know, variations of that. But uh, it works extremely well. So, after my workout, well, let's start with before my workout. What do I take? Uh, I usually take, now I'm not advertising for this company, but anyway, it's the Arnold, uh, the Arnold uh, Iron Creatine. And this is called the uh, Super Creatine Nitrate Formula. It's very good. Uh, actually, it has on the back, I always check for the ingredients on the back, make, it, uh, make sure it's uh, very natural. 
It actually is. There's one actually with a beet sugar in it that sweetens it up, which is awesome. And I'm all about uh, minimal, uh, like extra ingredients. You know, all those like dyes and, and whatever and high fructose corn syrup is, kind of gets ridiculous. Um, this is another one that I take during my workout. It's amino acids. Very good to take during a workout and a post-workout. Uh, they say BCAAs you want to take, uh, I think, around uh, 12 grams per serving. And those are the branch chain amino acids. Um, then after workout, I'll do protein. A little hemp, uh, my favorite is hemp. This is hemp pro fiber. Uh, you can actually get this at uh, certain stores like Sprouts. You can get it at uh, Vitamin Shop as well. Um, then it has uh, omega-3, 6, and 9. Uh, really good for post-workout inflammation, muscle growth, all that. Protein, 11 grams of protein. And uh, it's fiber. Um, and this right here is my favorite, spirulina. Spirulina Corella Mix is my favorite. And uh, you can find a lot of good brands out there. Um, and lastly, uh, I'm out of it right now, but I usually take CBD. It's a cannabidiol, uh, little droplets. That also helps with inflammation. So uh, post-workout, get your ab or get your foam rolling in. Get your atlas rolling in to roll out those kinks. And I will see you for the next workout. That's going to be triceps and biceps. Thanks a lot.